guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Learning the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to make white chocolate chip blondies. These have been crazy requested, so I figured why not make it tonight? So to make this, this is what you're gonna need. You need some all-purpose flour, some regular granulated sugar, some brown sugar, white chocolate chips, some sour cream, unsalted butter, an egg, baking powder, salt, and vanilla extract. So it's a very basic ingredient, but they're gonna be really good. White chocolate chip blondies are basically like um, a white version of a brownie. Everything's white. So first thing you wanna do, get your oven nice and hot to 350. Second thing you wanna do is take an eight inch, an eight by eight uh, baking pan like so, spray it with nonstick cooking spray, and lay the bottom with some parchment paper just to ensure everything comes out okay. All right, so. The butter, it's very important. The butter is at room temperature. This is almost melting because it is kind of hot in here with all the lights. It's very important, otherwise it won't incorporate well with the sugar. And to that, I'm gonna add both sugars, the brown sugar and the granulated sugar. And I'm actually just gonna switch to my whisk and just cream this together. That looks perfect. Now before I go any further with that, I'm gonna take my chocolate chips and I'm just gonna take some of the flour about two tablespoons or so, and I'm just gonna mix them in. This is so that once we coat all the chocolate chips with the flour, it prevents them from sinking in the, to the bottom of the pan, and it just makes sure that they're evenly throughout the batter, which is what we want. So just stir this, those up and set those aside. To the remaining flour, I'm gonna add my baking powder and my salt. Stir that up so I have these two ready for me. Now to this, I'm gonna add in my egg that I just cracked in a separate bowl because as I always say, you wanna make sure you don't get a bad egg. Some vanilla extract, like so, and the sour cream. Now sour cream, just it's very little amount, about two tablespoons, but it keeps this very moist, and you can always substitute this with some whole milk, or even yogurt would work really well for this too. Just make sure it's not flavored. So if you don't have sour cream, that's a perfect alternative. Just mix those up. Now that we have all of our wet ingredients incorporated, we're gonna add in our flour mixture. Just mix that up. And last, but certainly not least, I'm actually just gonna switch to my spatula because I wanna be able to fold my chocolate chips, my white chocolate chips through. Now that we have our white chocolate chips mixed through, we're gonna put this in our prepared pan so it's nice and greased up so nothing sticks. There's no point of making something delicious if it's not gonna come out, remember that. So it might, it might be a little extra step to line the bottom with parchment paper, but it is worth it. So just patiently, with a spatula, just spread this till you have one even layer. That looks just about perfect. Great, now, these are gonna be so good. They're not gonna be super heavy and dense, they're gonna be just perfect. They're gonna go into your preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, when it's about 25 minutes, take a toothpick, insert it into the middle. If it comes out with no wet batter on it, you know it's done. Then we're gonna let these cool and taste them together. Now I let these cool completely because now we're gonna cut them out. Just take a knife, run it around the edges just to loosen it, just like that. And it should come out pretty easily. Dun, 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 dun. But I'm not gonna take off the bottom yet because so to use it to cut them out. Now you can cut them as big or as small as you like. I think size, it smells so incredible. I can't wait to dig into these. I can tell that the inside are gonna be really moist. Look, I'm gonna go for a middle piece. Look at that. I can see that the inside's are really moist, all the chocolate chips. Mm, mm, so good. I'm like a squirrel on nuts. They're so good. I love white chocolate. I love any kind of chocolate, but white chocolate is my favorite, favorite, favorite. When I started the recipe, I had one cup in the bowl. By the time I made it, I'm sure I had like a half a cup because I kept picking at them. <laughs> These are super simple, guys. They've been getting requested like the, at the wazoo. Everyone's been asking for them. So now you have them to get the recipe with everything written down. Just go onto my website, www.laurinakitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Today's Twitter question comes from Crazy About Demi. They asked, 
what made you realize your passion for cooking? What do you recommend for us beginners? Well, I've always loved cooking. When I was a little girl, you know, I grew up in Italy until I was 12 years old, so I always cooked with my mom and mostly my grandma. But when I really realized I had a passion for it was when I moved to the States, and I was very, very homesick. And, you know, people say that looking through pictures and stuff reminds you of people and brings you back to wherever you were. But for me, I turned to cooking. I turned to things that I made with my grandmother. I turned to things that I made with my mother. The smells, the taste, the look of it just really like fed my soul more than anything else. And that's when I realized food is so much more than fuel. It's just feeds, it feeds my soul and it, it gives me memories. It makes me think about places I've been, you know, people I know. I think about people through food. I think about my memories through food. And I would recommend to any beginner to deep Think deep and down inside what makes you happy, what you think about, what you enjoy eating, family recipes that you can make, family recipes you can change up. Just have to be something you're comfortable with. Stick with your, within your comfort zone until you're, you think you're ready to go to step outside of it and to learn something new. That's what I would recommend. Now, if you have any questions for me, tweet me at Laura's Kitchen. Don't forget the hashtag, Laura Vitale.